What is your comfort zone and what do you do to break free of living in it? When I have too often the same task or the same objective on my plate and on my task list, I'm too much in my comfort zone. And I feel that um, if I don't take enough risk and if I'm not a little bit scared, I must be too much in my comfort zone. We have this tradition at Holsti where we pick one risk a week, where just every week we say, let's just, you know, randomly pick one risk of something we want to achieve. It's kind of something we're scared of, it's something that we might not do otherwise. And it's so energizing. It's so often we get things done like this. And we did a little experiment last year where we actually created a whole role about risk taking. And we called it Agent 99. And Agent 99 was an internship that was about 99 risks in 99 days. So we would pick some risks of things that we thought would be good for our community, would be good for, um, I don't know, the world, would have a good impact and would also help us as a brand at Holsti. And we then um, found the amazing, perfect person who was so willing to take risks and he just went out and, and, and achieved it. Mm. And... Um, I think that's a great, that's a great way of, of, of doing it. And I think for us really thinking big is, is, is helps me to get kind of just out of comfort zone. And um, one thing that, we, that I believe helps me also is being surrounded by people that really think big. I realize that um, when, I'm, when I'm surrounded by, by other entrepreneurs um, and I kind of get this chilly feeling of like, oh my God, that's kind of crazy. That's what I want for myself as well. And, and that's what I want for my own idea as well. And when I'm missing it, I know something is not good. It's good to have a little bit of fear in it because it means you're really going for a big idea and you're not just executing something. And in the end of the day, we're trying out something new that has not been done before. Uh, we're building something that has not there before. And that little bit of like, uh-oh, in the back of my head is something very healthy.